recipient of the Governor General of Canada in commemoration of the person's case, an extraordinary individual, a true pioneer and advocate for women's health and equality, the founder of Maud Medical Clinic and We Are Maud Foundation, Maria Joyce Wu. This remarkable woman has dedicated her life to championing women's health. Her commitment to promoting health care access for all has touched the lives of countless individuals making her a true leader, tirelessly advocating for gender equality and creating a space where women's voices are not only heard, amplified. So what do people need to know about Maria? Oh gosh, Maria is incredible. She just has this kind of mentality where anything is possible. Maria is a beautiful, kind, loving person who sees people through a fantastic lens of inclusivity and admiration and respect. Maria is a go-getter. She is an executor and she's a doer. Like she's someone that makes things happen with such a drive for achieving greatness and really helping others. Always looking to not only help others, but advocate for others as well. And this is something I see not only in her advocacy pursuits, but also in her day-to-day with those around her. She can like look beautiful in like a Versace gown, but also like totally get real with like overalls and like her hair tied back. She's a gem. Maud is a multidisciplinary clinic. Maud is a very unique clinic. I haven't seen another one like it. Patients coming in have access to both publicly funded as well as private services under one roof. You are getting a uh, team approach to a lot of different issues. It doesn't feel like they're tr- the traditional setup of a of a medical clinic. The aesthetics are just beautiful to begin with. It creates a very calming, safe space for women. It is part of that therapeutic approach to making patients feel comfortable. To be seen and supported by other women. I think just the sentiment around creating a space that really wasn't available and, and making it really feel safe and feel authentic um, just lines up so well with who Maria is. I think Maud and Maria, just like the intention behind both there's such a nice parallel and there's so there's really good synergy mod is about kind of empowering you know underserved women and making sure that people's voices were being heard it it just was like a match made in heaven truly it's it's maria like that is the vision she had and she's been incredibly successful in achieving that the physicians here we see patients for self-referrals um for contraception counseling and for sti testing and IUD care. We also accept uh, physician referrals for other related concerns um, that pertain to women's health. Myself, I'm a menopause specialist here, so I see a lot of patients uh, during my time here for menopause consultations and treatment. We see a multitude of women's health topics ranging from menstrual health concerns, contraception, menopause, polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, vaginal health and sexual health concerns, um, among others, but anything in the spectrum of women's health. The We Are Mod Foundation is a nonprofit here in Calgary supporting the access, education, and equity towards pelvic health and physiotherapy. The Compassionate Care Program is a way for us to support any individual um, who needs these services, including vaginal health care and physiotherapy, access those regardless of barriers they may face, which could be financial, geographical, or otherwise. So it started out about almost four years ago, and it originally started with the Bear Clan, and they did a call for menstrual products. Maud um, came in as somebody who supports reproductive justice and collects supplies for us so that we are able to continue the project um, without any cost to us, and Maud will supply us with any donations that their folk are dropping off. Packages are made very specifically for houseless kin, um, particularly Indigenous houseless kin, on the streets of Calgary. Tampons, pads, um, sage, light anywhere, matches, chocolate, chapstick, um, deodorant in the summer, hand and feet warmers in the winter, ONT to warm wombs, for any weather that Calgary has. The WHO, of course, is the uh, governance body that we all take a look at for guidance, specifically in vaccines and healthcare. And they deemed in 2018 that we, as a global social responsibility, need to eliminate 
cervical cancer, but also other forms of cancer that can be prevented. There is a Canadian elimination strategy, and Maria is very instrumental in speaking to our general public and raising the awareness with them through other organizations. Maria is an amazingly passionate and fantastic individual. She just is is always there as a source of support and seeking to uplift others. She is very skilled at bringing together people from all different sort of backgrounds and specialties. She's a force of nature and not, she's, not, she's unstoppable.